Let's do a quick search here. I'm going to do a 256 gigabyte micro SD and I can see Oh yeah, the cost is well over a hundred bucks for these kind of things. So remember, we're going to be using this in our video camera. So we want to shoot a wedding with this. Now this one's cheaper, but it's only 128 gigs. Again, 256 gig Samsung. It's a bit heavy. So let's sort by price because that's what I do on Amazon, right? And whoa, Sasha, can you believe it? 256 gigs for like under 10 bucks? Do it. It's a steal. It sounds like it. This looks totally legit. 256 gigabytes. It's class 10, obviously. It looks good. It is the best chip and flash modules. <laughs> and it's only 10 bucks. Oh, my. Okay, I, I've got to take a look at the reviews because I've got to be smart about this. Now, there's only two and a half out of five stars. This guy, I mean, it seems like, oh, yeah, they definitely are happy with this purchase. Okay, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, but there's a lot of one-star reviews. Now, when I see these one-star reviews and I start oh, kind of skimming these, I start to think, Sasha, that, oh, uh, you know what? They probably, they, just they got a lemon. Yeah. Maybe they got a lemon. I mean, there's, a, there's 400 reviews plus here. So I'm going to add this to cart because, you know what? It's worth the risk of $10. I can definitely spend $10. I mean, look at the price of a normal 256 gig uh, SD card. So this is definitely a steal. I, I regret that those folks got a lemon, but I think, uh, you know, I'm going to play... I'm going to take the risk. Yep. And let's, uh, let's give it a go. Place the order. Free shipping. Yeah, Prime. <laughs> All right. Who could that be? Oh, okay. Um, just one second here. Sorry to do this to you folks. Huh. Amazon's gotten really fast these days. <laughs> All right. Well, let's bring this over here to our unboxing table, and let's get a look here. This has got to be... A fake at ten dollars, but uh, let's get into the package. But w wait a minute, this actually came from Amazon. This is the Mississauga right. uh, Amazon warehouse. So this didn't come from some obscure Chinese factory or something like that. No, this came directly from Amazon.ca. Explaining why it was so fast. Exactly. All right. Oh yeah, look Here at that. We go. It is a micro SD HC memory card. New. Made in China, it's a memory card, as we learned on the front, plug and play for digital cameras, cellular phones. Oh, it even does PDAs, just in case you still use a PDA. Like High speed, high performance. This sounds incredible for only 10 bucks. Okay. Let's get into it. All right, let's take a look here. This can't be real. I mean, they've got a sticker over it. It's got to be a fake. No, that looks completely legit <laughs> to me. All right, let's see if I can just get in there. Okay, um... Huh. Yeah. Ah, there we go. All right. Let's get a look at this. So there's a micro SD card right there. Is it a 5 gig? At that price, it's got to be like 16 gigs now. No, that's a, actually a 256 gigabyte micro SD card. For the win. I'm shocked. This is legit, Sasha. Huh. So let's throw this in the camera. All right. All right, so we've got it in our camera. We're ready to start shooting video at my cousin's wedding. Right. Right? It formats. The mm. camera reads it. The camera shows that it's 256 gigs. For, yep, that's a win. It's so good. It's obviously a legit it's good. 256 gig card for only $9.99, right? Steal. Yeah. Score. And... Do you see any doubt in my eyes? <laughs> Dad. <laughs> any doubt in my eyes whatsoever? I have Linux installed on my computer, folks. Linux gives me power beyond measure. And I can figure things out that maybe you can't do on a normal system in quite as little time. Tonight, we're going to look at this micro SD card that Amazon shipped me. Let's get a little bit of a close-up look here. A 200 56 gigabyte micro SD card. We're going to take a look at that in Linux and find out, is this for real? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's back up a few weeks. Right. We had to talk about the folks who actually did this and bought this off of Amazon, plugged it into their DSLR, and it was working fantastically well. Right. So they shot a wedding with it. They did. And they shot the whole thing. And then they got it home, and they went to edit the video, and everything on the card was corrupt. Why would that happen? Well, because a fake micro SD card will, in fact, um, only be 
say, let's say it's a 16 gig micro SD that they hacked the firmware of to trick your camera into thinking it's 256 gigs. And then right. they reprinted the silk screening to make it look like physically it's 256 gigs. So, Shady. Yeah, but when you plug it in, because they've hacked the, the firmware, the, the bootloader, the boot sectors and mm -hmm. whatever else of the drive, your camera, your device, your phone thinks it's 256 gigs. So then it hits that 16 gig cap because it's legitimately not 256 gigs. It's only, say, 16 gigs. And when it hits that cap, it still keeps recording and right. starts and it thinks that it's 256 gigs. So there's lots of space. But where is it putting that data? The chips that are within this card if this is indeed fake, but in the instance of a fake card, is not going to be able to write the right. data. It's going to look like it's there because it's recording the file names and everything else, but it may not be there. So how do we actually tell? Well, we have unboxed this now tonight. We've got a SD card, micro SD card reader. I'm just going to simply plug that in and okay. set this aside because there's a USB 3 memory card reader. And let's bring up our Linux laptop here and I'm just gonna jump into the terminal now I'm gonna say just straight off oh and let's uh, let's see what I can do here about the display because you're not seeing what I see let's quickly can I bring this can I just drag that over to oh, there yep. that there we works go. all right folks let's see if I can just kind of no it won't let me zoom in so I hope that you're using a high enough resolution <laughs> that you can see that very very well um, but I'm gonna walk you through there we go. I'm going to walk you through everything that I'm going to do here. So, first of all, I'm doing this on Linux. You can figure this out on Microsoft Windows. Stick around. If you're on Microsoft Windows, I'm going to tell you how you can do this on Windows if you do not have Linux. But Linux is free. You can install it, and then you can do this, and it's much, much quicker. Right. Now, I don't have a fear, Sasha, that Mac users ever have this problem, because a Mac user is going to go to Amazon and they're going to see the cheap cards and they're going to skip right over them to the really expensive cards. Right. And then they're going to multiply the price of the really expensive card by three and that's the one that they're going to buy. <laughs> That's so right. They're buying the $300 256 gig. Right. Micro and then SD they're card. just expecting that in two years they'll have to buy another one anyway. Exactly. So, Mac users, this is not for you. I understand that. You've never tried to find uh, something at this price point. But for you Windows and Linux users who are looking for a deal, you might fall for this if you go onto Amazon. So what we're going to do on our Linux machine, first of all, I'm going to become super user. So sudo su on my, um, uh, this is uh, Linux Mint, aka uh, this one's based on Ubuntu, so um, sudo su for any of those, or just su su uh, on a Debian system. And I'm going to install a program called F3, so apt install F3. It's going to quickly grab that from the repositories. There we go. And let's run the program. So we're going to run F3 probe. And here's where I actually, well, I can't really proceed because I haven't plugged in my micro mm -hmm. SD card yet. So let's do that first. First of all, I need to know what drive this is going to be. I'm going to control C. So I'm going to go LS space now remember i am super user so i can do this dev slash sd star enter and i see sda sda1 sda2 so the built-in computer hard drive on my computer mm -hmm. is sda mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect my usb reader right okay and as soon as i do that now linux is going to probably detect a couple of uh new drives quite possibly let's see maybe not but what i can do is now i can run that same command ls slash oh it is detecting something it seemed to kind of jump around there a little bit oh on my other screen it is it's brought up a drive here which i can close and over here i'm going to run that same command what i'm telling it to do is show me all the devices that start with sd because that asterisk, mm -hmm. SD being uh, like a, a hard drive, if you right. will, which my USB drive is being detected as. And you can see that now I've got SDB and SDB1. So let's now remember I installed F3, but before I do that, I'm going to go fdisk L slash dev slash SDB now that we've determined that that is my drive. And lo and behold, it's 245 gigabytes. <gasps> so do you guys see that? 
There you go. There you go. That's what your computer shows you. That's what Windows will show you. That's what Mac will show you. Mm -hmm. That's what your camera will show you. That's what your phone will show you. So how do we determine whether or not this is legit? Mm -hmm. Is it really a 256 gig or what is being reported as 245 gig SD card? So that's where F3 comes in. So let's do F3 probe. Now that we know that it is dev slash SDB, I'm going to go dash dash. This is a brand new card. So we're going to do a destructive test. Oh. Which we want to do anyways because it's the most accurate for this really, really quick test. But um, it, it will destroy some data if you have data on there. So don't do this on a card so that you've already used. A destructive test just like... It is going to overwrite sectors of the drive and then okay. it's going to read those sectors back to say, hey, did that okay. actually work or did it lie to me and say that it would work but it didn't okay right are we going to get corrupted data so the reason we're using f3 as opposed to some of the tools that are out there um, is because f3 probe can do this extremely quickly so where it may take six hours on a 256 gigabyte drive using traditional means and on Microsoft Windows. Here on Linux with F3 Probe, it's going to take under 15 minutes. Perfect. Okay. And sometimes just seconds. Just seconds. So dash dash destructive, dash dash, the type of tests we're going to do, time ops slash dev slash, and what was the drive, Sasha? I'm just quizzing you. SDB. 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 Sorry. Remember, that's important because if I accidentally SDB. typed SDA, that's my hard drive in my laptop. Right. I'm going to overwrite sectors on my actual hard drive. Don't make that mistake. Be right. very, very careful of this command. I'm going to hit enter. And it says, warning. Probing normally takes a few seconds to 15 minutes, but it can take longer. Please be patient. <laughs> so what this is doing right now, Sasha? Yes. It is writing random points on this drive. So it knows that it's supposed to be 256 gigabytes. Right. And so it'll write something at 10 gigabytes. And it'll write something at 4 gigabytes. And it'll write something at 20 gigabytes. And something at 100 gigabytes. And something at 500 gigabytes. And it'll read it back. And it'll say, does this match what I wrote? Ah. Right? And if at any point it sees that it's not actually matching, then it's going to figure out, okay, well, where does this drive actually end off? And we're going to find out how big the drive actually is. But what makes me nervous, Sasha, is is there a chance that the $10 SD card could be legit? I feel like there's like a 0.0% yeah. 0 chance. There's like pretty much a 0.0% 0 .0 chance. How's it coming? No oh, way. it's done. Oh, okay. Okay, what do we got? Ladies and gentlemen, bad news. See that? If I can yes. get it. Bad news. This device, dev slash SDB, is a counterfeit of type limbo. Huh. The actual device geometry, and it only took a couple of moments here, the usable size of this drive, ladies and gentlemen, is 15.66 gigabytes. <sighs> the announced size is 245 gigabytes. Wowzers. Ladies and gentlemen, we have purchased a fake micro SD card from Amazon. Legitimately. Yes. Amazon.ca shipped directly from their warehouse. Right. Yes, they're going to be hearing from me. Yes, I'm going to be returning the card. Yes, I'm furious because I shot that whole wedding and I'm going to sue. Now, here's the... Let's back up again. I love doing this. Okay. Think about the scenario. Right. At the beginning of this, Sasha, we decided, we determined... It's worth the risk of $10 because my $10, that's like five cups of coffee. Right. Right. It's worth that risk. I might save $95 or $100. Right. What is the value that you would put on, say, your wedding video? It's I'm using that example less. because this yeah, is legit. It's like, it's like, a, like worth, what would I spend to get it back if I didn't have it? A lot of money. How would yeah. you feel, and this is rhetorical for everyone, and, and using wedding video, maybe that's not the example that is applicable to you, but right. something that is priceless to you. Mm -hmm. Photos on your phone, contacts, files that are important to you. What if you hit that 16 gig limit of the physical disk mm -hmm. and kept saving to it and lost everything else that you saved? 
what was that worth the ten dollars? Was that worth saving ni- potentially saving ninety dollars? And I th- it is a rhetorical question. The answer is absolutely not. Now this is a fake micro SD card, and this tool F3. And in this particular instance of this example, F3 Probe, the application that comes with it, is showing us on Linux that the drive is actually only a 16 gig drive. Now, whoever hacked it, whoever sold this illegal fake drive on Amazon or to Amazon and put it in their warehouse, hacked the firmware, hacked the chip to make it think and make it trick your device into thinking that it is 200 and 56 gigs or reporting as 245 gigs but in fact it is not now the drive may be usable and so Mm -hmm. f3 fix is included and has given you the command to be able to use the full 16 gig space so i could convert this into a 16 gig card and start using it but that's not what i bought and if i had recorded to it i would have lost practically everything that i had written to it because how quickly do you fill 16 gigs with a 4k camera or your DSLR. It just, boom, lickety split, just like that. Mm -hmm. So stay away from those fake drives. If you see those red flags, what what do we look for? Well, too good to be true prices. Absolutely. Bad reviews. Bad reviews are uh, definitely something. Now, they're not always the case because bad reviews may be, you do have to, I kind of joked about it and alluded to it. You sometimes have to say, oh, that person obviously doesn't know what they're talking about. A fresh new company, very brand new. Yeah, a company that just started up. Right. And really, you know, you, you can't really find out about them. Yeah. That's definitely, definitely. I, I can't think of anything else. And those so are else? some really good red flags. Yeah. Bad reviews and perpetually bad reviews. Right. And look at, look at the good reviews too, okay? Can I say that? Can right. I suggest that one way to tell if it's a fake product is to look at the good reviews? Because if the good reviews are so glowing... Mm -hmm. And so poor in their English, a lot of times, I I hate to say it, but a lot of times, they are possibly hired by the company who's doing this fraud or perhaps the same people, Mm -hmm. and they're adding this to that to offset all those bad reviews, and it does happen. This is legit. Right. Well, you can also be frozen out of being able to write a review, which is an after-the-fact problem yes. right yeah. so you're like oh this is a this is a bad device and then mm-hmm. you go to write a review and it, you're frozen out of it you can't it's close i sure to hope reviews. that i can post this video yes and uh and i hope that i save you from accidentally mm-hmm. believing that a ten dollar 256 gigabyte micro sd card right. exists now, if you're on Microsoft Windows, we've got a link for you at cat5.tv slash USB test. And that will take you to this blog entry at raymond.cc that has been sent to us courtesy of David Fear, a viewer uh, who was watching and commented on uh, our YouTube channel. So thank you, David, for sending this in. Now, this blog entry, um, number one, shows us to use H2 test W, which is a very uh, well-respected tool to do this very test on Microsoft Windows. So if you're not on Linux, you can use this tool, and it's going to take a lot longer than the Linux tool that we showed you tonight, but it's going to do the job for you and show you whether that USB flash drive, or in this case, a micro SD card, is in fact legit, or if it's fake.